Bono recently did a video on raw food safety, and I have to commend him in some ways for um, acknowledging a lot of problems with bacteria and parasites not acknowledged by other carnivore dieters. But I think he way overplayed the safety of raw meat. I also think a problem that he doesn't understand, the science isn't there to say that raw meat is more absorbable or more bioavailable than, say, cooked meat. In fact, there's a great deal of proof that humans evolved to eat cooked meat, okay? If we are to eat meat, it is to be cooked. It helps us break it down better, it's a safer food, and we get more nutrients out of it. There are, however, of course, certain nutrients in meat, such as coenzyme Q10, as well as uh, creatine, that get destroyed in the cooking process, which is also true. But the fact of the matter is, that's why we have these things called supplements now, okay? The thing is, it's just very disheartening to see somebody so brainwashed by their own confirmation bias into believing their own nonsense as Frank. I don't dislike Frank, honestly. I actually make videos primarily about Frank, not because I'm picking on Frank, but because I think out of all the carno carnivore dieters, the most hope is with him at seeing the error of his ways. Uh, however, with this, his business, Frankie's Free Range Meats, and all this crap, most of his videos have been about self-promotion. Uh, one of the funnier ones that I saw was he got gynecomastia surgery, which is liposuction of the, of the breast area. I believe what happened with Frank is he got tired of people like me saying he was built like a twig, and he uh, started taking anabolic steroids, I think. I'm not saying I know, because I don't know. But he seems to have put on a lot of muscle very quick and just conveniently had gynecomastia surgery, which is interesting to me. Uh, the other thing is he did successfully help his sister, who has a, um, a developmental disability, and I'm not picking on her in any way. Uh, she seems like a sweet kid, okay, and he helped her to lose weight, okay. As somebody that previously has had success on the Atkins diet, absolutely. Okay, I recognize the validity of a ketogenic diet and in, in the process of losing weight. However, the, the way in which the video was promoted, and I'm not saying he doesn't care about his sister, it really looked like a um, self-promotion, an ad for Frankie's Free Range Meat. It didn't look like it was done from a loving place, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, what I'm getting at, and I'm not against Frank, like I said, I think that Frank is a decent person, probably, but he is confused by his own nonsense. I've made another video about how he seems emotionally disturbed due to his upbringing, and I, I think that that's true. I think that he had buried himself in this hunter-gatherer mythology that was promoted by people like, and, and like the thing is, I'll leave a link to Weston Price's video. And I like Weston Price's research, but it's not really very scientific. He just went around and looked at people that ate a relatively, well, basically an un unrefined diet and decided that unrefined food was good for you. And he created a, a term that he used called Activator X, which he believed was in the fat soluble vitamin group. But if you look at it, like for example, the video I'm going to post with Weston Price, in, in Switzerland, for example, the people that were the healthiest ate very little meat. And if you look at many hunter-gatherer societies, such as those in the Amerindian persuasion in South and Central America, that have the healthiest lives, and for example, the, um, the Seventh-day Adventists of Loma Linda, California, they are not eating very much meat, if any, okay? They're eating very little meat, okay? So it, it leads you to wonder how far he has deluded himself. And I used to be into this, too. I still am into this. I still like looking at how primitive people live and how primitive people eat and what can be gleaned from that to make my life better. Um, and it, it is rewarding to look at this and implement it. For example, um, many, many, many years, well, about two years ago, before I, actually before I had an issue, which I believe was brought on by just too much stress, 
I put on a lot of muscle eating corn and potatoes like the Inca. Why was I eating corn and potatoes like the Inca? I wanted to see if I could slap on, I could slap on muscle, and I did with corn and potatoes, okay? Because Dr. McDougall said that, you know, this is what the Inca ate, and they were robust, healthy people. And you know what? It worked, okay? But then it didn't work to help me manage my weight when I couldn't weightlift anymore because of a, a health concern that developed, which is under more or less under control now. But the thing is, the fact is, yes, it's very rewarding to, to look into this stuff and get something from it, but it's another thing to promote these things. What's actually kind of funny is Frank's video doesn't have any links. He doesn't put any links in his videos proving, well, some of them he does, but in this one with the, the raw meat safety, not one link to the CDC or any verifiable source to prove that raw meat is safe and healthy, okay? And that, to me, that's very questionable. Where are you getting this information? I have worked in the food industry. I've worked in delis. I went to culinary school. The, fir the first thing we learned was... Uh, sanitation and how to keep clean and you don't want to cross contaminate with raw meat okay so I mean you have to keep things in perspective he was honest though with some of the stuff regarding uh, plant foods there's some things like watercress which carry some parasites that aren't that's not a meat born parasite that's a plant born parasite uh, I thought he did a decent job with the video I really did and uh, that's all for this video. The links will be in the description. Feel free to follow them.